everyone, it's Shala from PSI Love You. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to be doing a double slider surprise card from Lawn Fawn. Actually, we're going to be using a lot of Lawn Fawn products today, and this is a longer video, so let's get started. All right, I'm going to start out. I've already got the pieces cut out for the double slider, and I'm inking them up with some Distress Oxide inks. I'm using Salty Ocean, Mermaid Lagoon, and Twisted Citron. I'm just going ahead and using my sponges here to layer the color on and going back and forth to get a good blend. Now I do apologize because my camera seems to be moving on me. I realize this later on and bring it back up. Got a bit of a new system set up uh, for videoing and um, it looks like I have to do some tweaking <laughs> to get it more stabilized. So back to the card here, we're going to um, now layer on between the Salty Ocean and the Mermaid Lagoon to get a good blend. Just going back and forth, I'm using my Tim Holtz Glass Media Mat, and you want to make sure when you're using Distress Oxide inks that you clean as you go because they can easily transfer to your project where you don't want them to. So now I'm bringing in that Twisted Citron and uh, just again going back and forth to get the blend that I want and I just keep that process going until it looks right to me. So once I get those two uh, little flaps inked up there, I will then proceed on to uh, doing the um, slider portion of it. I'm gonna do that in the same way using the exact same three colors. And again, making sure you clean as you go so that uh, you don't transfer that Distress Oxide inks where you don't want it to. I'm using my bone folder here to push down on those flaps to get a good crease. Now you don't actually have to ink up both sides of these pieces here. I did because I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it, um, but later on I will actually attach it to a card base. I did a ton of coloring and stamping with a whole bunch of different lawn fawn pieces. I laid them out. I took a picture of what the what I wanted, like the layout, how I wanted it. And I have that on my camera, uh, on my phone there. So I have that to the side and I'm just kind of um, going to be putting those pieces back on once I get done stamping up my sentiments. I'm using VersaFine Black Onyx ink and my Stamp Perfect here so that I can get a good impression, nice and crisp. And uh, because it's Distress Oxide inks, I wanna double ink those up and make sure that uh, it looks great. Uh, using my little Stamp Perfect uh, what is that from? Um, Sweet Petunia, the little um, ruler there to make sure that my sentiments are straight. I'm using Gina K Connect Glue. Uh, this is a great liquid glue, a liquid adhesive for these images because it's nice and strong, but it gives you a little wiggle room to get those images placed. I did Copic coloring for all those images and I stamped, uh, sorry, I uh, die cut them out with the coordinating dies. And the stamp sets that I use, they're all from Lawn Fawn. So I use the Ahoy Matey, uh, Octopi My Heart, the Dana, So Jelly, Mermaid For You, You Are Sublime, so that's what I used for the uh, sentiment there, and the Fantastic Friends. And I love that Lawn Fawn has all these great stamp sets that you can actually combine and mix and match and coordinate together. Um, the versatility of the different things that you can use is so great. So I'm literally just putting these back on um, the way I had originally laid them out, and just using my picture that I took on my phone as reference. I'm using the reverse tweezers there as these images are kind of small. It helps me just kind of place them where I want them to and minimize the amount of glue on my fingers so that I don't uh, transfer that glue to the background because those Distress Oxide inks will actually um, kind of move about with that glue. So you want to make sure that uh, you're not getting glue all over your project. So again, just layering the scene up. I've got some lots of great little corals and the little sandcastle there. Lots of fish uh, from that Fantastic Friends. Actually from all those sets that I mentioned, there's great, great images on there that you can use together to build the scene. I love this little treasure chest from the Ahoy Matey set. And again, just layering this up to get a scene that I like. I have that acrylic block on the top upper right hand corner there just laying over top to add some pressure to help the glue adhere to both pieces. 
I love that narwhal. I am so in love with him. I, I just think he's the greatest. Um, I like how the Copic colorings turned out with him as well. I used my colorless blender to kind of lift some of the color up off of him too, which it looked, I like how it turned out. So once I get all these little critters all adhered down, I am now going to start putting the whole piece together. I'm using my Be Creative tape. Uh, this is a really strong adhesive tape. It's excellent for these type of projects and you wanna make sure that you burnish it down with something like your bone folder here uh, to make sure that it's really sealed. And so I'm gonna start applying this together. So those two outer pieces, uh, the outer flat pieces, I am going to um, put this, the tape just on the edges there. And then this piece here is actually the piece that the slider, all the piece, sliding pieces get attached to. So I'm gonna put the Be Creative tape on both sides of this, on, the, on those longer edges there. And using that bone folder again, apply it to the other side. And again, really make sure that you burnish that down just so it has a good, strong seal. Now I'm going to bring in my actual little slider portion. So I'm using the packaging that came from one of my Lawn Fawn stamps. It's a thicker um, kind of, uh, what do you want to call it? Like, almost like an ass tape, but it's a thicker packaging. I wouldn't use this packaging again because it was really kind of stiff. So I'd go with something thinner like the um, uh, doggy bags that I've seen other people use would probably be great or a grocery bag, but this was just a little too thick. So I'm measuring it out here. Um, I think it was like two and a quarter inches uh, that I cut it down to. And once I get, so this is uh, double-sided there or because it's for the packaging, I'll actually get two pieces out of it. So I'm just kind of cutting that up here. So I've opened it up and now I'm going to kind of cut down the middle and that'll give me the, the two pieces. Uh, so I can use another piece for another project. That Fisker's trimmer is really great. I love that wire guide. It shows you exactly where you're cutting. I highly recommend uh, purchasing that. It's, it's one of the best. So as you can see here, I'm going to apply more of that Be Creative tape to the ends. And I'm gonna apply that just nice and loosely over top of that. You don't wanna pull it tight around there, otherwise it won't slide. So just kind of lay it right over top. It's really hard to see in this video, I apologize for that. but. You can see that it's sliding here. And you want to make sure that adhesive is on the left hand side, right there. All right, now I'm going to put more adhesive right over top of that left hand side and I'm flip it over and then you're going to put more adhesive on the right hand side because those little inner sliding panels, that's where they're going to attach to. So I'm just trimming off a little bit of the excess tape there that I have. And I'm going to bring in those panels. So making sure that adhesive is on the left hand side, I'm going to begin putting on those little panels there. And I actually make a mistake here. I forgot which panel was supposed to go where. And so I adhere this one down, making sure that it's lined up evenly on the left hand side there. And once I get it down, I realize, oh shoot, that is not supposed to go there. It's supposed to go on the other side. So I have to take it up. Thankfully, um, I didn't uh, burnish it down too hard yet so that I was able to remove it. 
yeah, that's the right one. And so I'm going to add some more of that uh, Be Creative tape just kind of over top there. And we'll start again. All right, so that one is going to slide out to the right. So it has to be um, this panel here and it's going to be face up, lining it up on the left hand side there. And then I flip it over and I need to put this panel face down because when you pull it out to the left, it has to be face down so you can see it. So there we go. Um, sorry, the other one I lined up on the right, this one I line up on the left hand side evenly with the edges. I'm going to press that down. I'm using my anti-static powder here um, just in case there's any adhesive kind of showing underneath. It will stop it from sticking on my project when it goes to slide. So a little hard to show here because it's not adhered down, but it is sliding there. Now I'm going to join these two pieces together. And again, I had inked up both sides of these and I didn't have to because I'm actually going to adhere this to a card base. But um, if you're just gonna give this to the person as is like this, uh, then you'd probably want to do both sides on the inking. Again, using st that static tool to um, take the uh, stickiness off if it's uh, kind of showing underneath there. And I will remove the liner here from that creative tape and I'm just going to place it down matching up on the edge there, making sure it's nice and lined up. Removing it from the back so that I can adhere it down on the back. Removing it from that front middle piece and I'll fold that edge up. There's a lot of adhesive on this project, so hopefully it's not going anywhere. And then just folding that right over top, pushing that down. When I pull it, you can see that it slides. It is very stiff because I used that a thicker um, packaging there. Again, I'd use something thinner, but it seems to be working okay. And then I decided I wanted to put it on a card base. So I'm going to go in and I'm using that Hero Arts, I use the Hero Arts Starry Night Brush Strokes Bold Prints background there. And that's a six by six cling stamp. And I used just the Versamark Watermark ink just to get that kind of tone on tone color. And I'll use my Fisker trimmer here just to cut that down to an A2 size card. So four and a half by sorry, four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And to me that kind of looks like waves. So that's why I went with that pattern. I'll adhere that to a standard A2 size card. And I'm just using my Tombow, what is that, that Tombow mono uh, glue tape here. This works really well. It's a nice stronger adhesive. Not as strong as the Be Creative, I don't think. Um, if you need some really good strength, I'd use the Be Creative, but this was just to apply the panel onto my card base here. So get that all lined up. And then I'm going to bring in the little uh, slider surprise there, double slider surprise. Again, using that Be Creative tape because I want a nice strong hold and apply that all over the back. And this is going to make sure that that piece does not pull off the card base because you're going to have people pulling on on both sides of it. You want to make sure it's secured down there. I'm just kind of, whoops, let's turn it around and get it centered on there nicely. And that pretty much finishes up this card. I will actually, um, add some little holes on the sides there because you can see it's really really hard to pull it out here just because I use that that thicker packaging so I'm going to add little holes on either end um, with some grommets uh, 
what did I use? I used my, what is that called? The, the croc, the big croc, I believe it is. Uh, oh, again, adding some Winkostella here because I think I add this stuff to every card. Um, just the clear glitter. I, I like how it adds a little bit of shine. I think every card needs a little bit of glitter. But, uh, sorry, back to the slider portions. I use my uh, crocodile, big croc, I think it is. I can't remember the name of it. But I add uh, little holes and grommets to either end of those sliders and then I attach some twine so that it's easier to pull out. You'll see it in the finished picture um, where I apply that to. So there you go. That's today's card using all those fantastic lawn fawn items. A little close up here of the finished card and you can see the twine on either ends. So I hope you enjoyed today's card. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks so much everybody and until next time, have a great day.